Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I am so excited to be interviewing, well not interviewing, we're not even, in, we're, we're ch this is mommy chit chat. We are chatting today about this whole fly lady thing. Uh, we thought it would be really cool to come together to talk about like our fly lady journeys and how we are just working and adapting the program into our lives. I feel like it's important to have this conversation because sometimes it's easy to fall into that trap that fly lady needs to be a rigid thing but just after our conversations together we kind of do things a little bit different and I think it's just really cool to talk about it just to give anybody out there who's thinking about it ideas on ways that they can tweak the program and make it work for their life so this is Danielle Danielle do you want to tell us a little bit about your channel before we get started sure so um, my name is Danielle also known as Miss Happy Housewife and um, currently I'm uploading every day, Monday through Friday. It's hard, but I'm doing it. Um, I'm basically cataloging my journey and hope that you all will come along for the ride. Yay. All right. So let's get started. Um, so the first question that I want to ask you is how did you learn about Fly Lady? Like, how did you even get started with the program? Okay. Well, that's a funny, funny question. Um, when I first got married to my husband and we moved out, I, I actually searched online for how to be the perfect housewife because I didn't know how to clean. I didn't know how to cook. And I know it's really, really funny thinking back on it now because, um, I, there, there's no perfect housewife, but I did, I was looking for when to clean what, cause again, I had no clue and I stumbled upon this website, flylady.net, and it looks way different now, but I stumbled upon that and I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. So like you started the Fly Lady program and you've been doing it since you, like since your early marriage days till now? No. So, um, I, this was like 10, 15 years ago. So she's been doing this for a while. Um, but through two house moves, kids moving out, going to college, I fell off the bandwagon really, really hard. And uh, I needed a change this go around. And um, I noticed I was constantly in my onesie. And I'm in my onesie now. <laughs> um, usually when my husband gets home after dinner, I get in the onesie. But yeah, so I wanted to, I really felt like things were getting just out of control again. And I remembered, oh, Fly lady. Okay. Well, you know what? All I got to do is just shine the sink. Just shine the sink. Yes. Love that. So what kind of cleaning habits did you have before? So the cleaning habits that I had before I started fly lady were very much like reactionary. I would wait for things to like get out of control and then be like, Oh my God, like there's so many dishes. Oh my God, the lodges is everywhere. And it was never really thought out. I'm, I tried to do routines, but I never really like thought about it like all the way through. So it was just very rational, like reactionary, a lot of like binge cleaning and it was just very stressful. And I felt like, you know, I would like do all this cleaning and then like two minutes later, my kids would come drag everything back on the floor. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Like if these people still live here, <laughs> like, they're just going to mess up my work. What about you? Well, you know, I mean, what's funny is that it, your story sounds kind of similar. I would leave the dishes in the sink and I'm too tired to get to them tonight. Mm. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. And then tomorrow comes and I'm tired again. Um, wow. So I did that and clutter was everywhere. It's not that the house was really dirty. Yes, the dishes were dirty, mm -hmm. um, but the house was just really, really cluttered. Yeah. Very, very cluttered. Same here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, like in my house, I felt like I had like just stuff in random places. Like, you know, like, because I didn't like my, my cabinets were full of stuff. And that's one thing I really appreciated about the fly lady journey is her focus on, we're not going to talk about like so much and how to make it pretty, like just get crap out of your house yes. and then you'll find space for all the stuff that is yeah. just like lingering around. And so, yeah. I think like within the past week or two, I've probably filled up a few, I want to say like 10 garbage bags. Wow. Yes. Girl, you still like my house. <laughs> I mean, it's clothes. It's been a lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think we had a lot of baby clothes. We had a lot of like, like 
dishes. Like, I'm like, we do not need 50,000 cups. <laughs> right. I, I went through my utensils and I'm, uh, I think it was, no, it was the bowls or something like that. I'm like, why do I have four lids? I don't need four lids. Yes. I only have two bowls. <laughs> Tupperware, tup like unmatching yes. stuff. Like, yes. What else? Like, I felt like I had like, like, I don't even know what this is. So <laughs> expired food, expired medicine. I'm like, why am I holding on? Right, right. Just uh, if someone's dying, you can give them <laughs> that expired aspirin medicine. that's been in there for 10 years. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I can't believe I'm sharing this. I guess we, we spilling the tea tonight. <laughs> oh God. Cheers to that. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Okay, so I have a question for you. Okay. Um, my question is, how strictly do you follow the fly lady routine? I know this is kind of like a hot topic for some people. It is. It is. Don't tell Marla this. Not like we actually talk to Marla, right? We don't. Um, I don't know why I said that. Because I'm stupid. Um, so I don't stick to them as often or as hard as I should. Okay. Um, I know that through the book I read, I don't know what book you read. I've read Sacred Reflections. Books. That's the okay. one I read. Yeah. Um, but if you actually go on the website, it has a whole nother set of baby steps. And ah. I know, but as I was going through the baby steps and I decided to record my whole journey, uh -huh. um, you know, I'm going through those baby steps and I'm like, wait a minute, why am I putting post-it notes everywhere? That seems like clutter. I haven't even um, heard of the post-it note thing. Yeah, I think it's like day two or three or something like that. Okay. But to me, I found it like not, that didn't work for me. And then there's another baby step where you're supposed to read her morning musing. Okay. I don't, I don't need the inspiration from her to go and talk about, I don't even know what she was talking about the other day because I just happened to glance at it. I don't know. It was just some random stuff. And so I'm like, okay, I'm not doing that. Yeah. But um, when it comes to zones and I don't know, um, you know, I don't know where any of our viewers are really in, in their fly lady journey, but eventually you get into the decluttering and the cleaning and I do stick to the zone itself. Uh -huh. um, let's see. So I cleaned the bedroom, but today I decluttered the closet. Uh -huh. I'm still in the zone, Yeah. but I'm not following it where you just declutter, just to clutter mm -hmm. when you gone, then you clean no I kind of do it all what about you yeah I'm kind of like in the same boat like I feel like number I just followed the book like so I, that's news to me to hear that the website is different and yeah. I feel like that's why like my first impression when I went to the website was like I was nervous I would get confused yeah. and so that's why I was like let me just take it the book route and I'm just yeah. like a book person period mm -hmm. and so I feel like at this point, I feel like I need to just say that I have a fly lady inspired journey because yeah. I feel like I have some people who leave comments on my videos saying like things I should be doing and you uh -huh. should do it this way. And I'm like, mm, I'm very much a, a believer of you take something and then you tweak it to like yeah. work with your life. So that I have done, I've done lots of tweaks. Um, examples of tweaks that I've done would be like with my zones. I feel like I do the same thing too. I don't follow like, mm -hmm. I am very anti list i'm anti super rigid i just go into that zone depending on where we are and i just look around and i decide like what is calling my name and i feel like if you're kind of like your homemaking background is like similar to mine there's gonna be a lot of projects yeah. <laughs> so you do you just do what you see and then like as you go like those projects definitely disappear i know there's times where i felt like it was never gonna get done but it starts to get, chip away you chip away at it and then, um, and then that's when I start, you know, getting into like the deeper cleaning and stuff like that. And so I definitely modify the zones. I'm trying to think what else I modify. Oh, like the, like you said, like the inspiration, I think it's cool when you need it, yeah. but like somebody like came for me cause like they're like talking about my shoes and how you're not like I was supposed to wipe down my bathroom counters at a certain time and I'm like as long as the counters are getting wiped down you know as long as I'm getting my stuff done like I don't need the inspiration all the time sometimes I do I don't need to for me I'm okay with not wearing shoes like stuff like that and so it's just little oh a uh, my dishes like I know ideally you should be putting your dishes in the dishwasher or washing them I just stack mine on my counters and I'm like but the thing is when it's on my counters I do them a lot more often 
Never mind. Oh, okay. And okay. so I'm just like, I just do like, and then I, when I'm ready to do dishes, it's just easy to throw because they're rinsed and ready. And so just little tweaks like that, that make it a little, a little easier and more reasonable for me. Well, that, that kind of brings up a follow-up question on um, talking about how you've tweaked it. So the proper fly lady says that um, when it comes to the zone stuff, it's supposed to be 15 minutes a day. Mm. Now, how has your life, the time you've spent cleaning, how has that changed from pre-fly lady to now? So for me, I feel like, I feel like I spend less time cleaning and more time cleaning at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense. I feel really like, <laughs> like, I feel like before I would like do my binge cleaning and I would do my binge, like massive reconstruction, decluttering projects. And that stuff would take me like hours. And then mm -hmm. I would feel like so tired. Like I wouldn't even want to like clean for like a day or two. And yeah. obviously when you get, you, you take a break, like stuff is just building back up and then mm -hmm. I would have my binge clean again. And so like, I feel like doing the binge cleaning, that's much harder than what I'm doing now. The, yeah. the difference that I, I think now is I just have to make sure that I'm making time to clean a little bit every day. And so I, I'm more consistent and I have to like push through that feeling of, I don't feel like cleaning yeah. and push through it to stay on top of my routines. And it's just so much easier. Like it's easier to spend the 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 15 minutes there for me. What about you? Do you feel like the amount of time that you clean now has changed? Uh, yes. Uh, again, it sounds like we're just one person. <laughs> um, so I've, I've rented my house for a while. Um, the past few houses I have because we weren't planning on staying here. So we have these monthly or quarterly inspections. And of course, when that happens, my husband is the pusher, push, 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 gotta clean the house, gotta clean the house. And I don't, I don't roll that way because like you, I get, I get so tired. I, and it doesn't take long for me to get tired either. Mm -hmm. um, and so then let, let me, let me just have 15 minutes break, just 15 minutes break an hour later. There we go. Know. And then, yeah. And then it's like 1130 at night. I had to, you know, I have to work the next morning and I'm like, we, we need to go to bed. Your daughter has school. We both have work. Yeah, we got to get this done. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Um, now it takes me the amount of time um, for me to brew a cup of coffee. It takes me to unload my dishwasher. Mm. Um, I like to do that kind of stuff when I'm zombied out and I need my caffeine. Yeah. That way I don't think about it. Um, you know, I... I feel like I clean more, but not as much. Yes. Like, you really said it perfectly. Yeah. There, there are some projects that I will say do take a little bit longer. Um, I cluttered my closet today and that took an hour. Okay. It took an hour, but um, it was something that I felt I had to do. And so I was good with it, you know, because I knew once it's done, it's done. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to spend all day on the closet and the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of like my perspective on it. I feel like I kind of follow the spirit of the fly lady program and mm -hmm. I have done decluttering projects where it's taken me longer than the 15 minutes, mm -hmm. but I just try to be aware like of how I'm feeling. If I feel like, Oh, I don't want to do this. It's taking all day. I'm not going to no, 15 minutes and go. But if I'm feeling like extra motivated, like I'm almost there, I can see it. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and it mm -hmm. gets me excited. I'm going for it. Like whether that timer goes off or not. So there have definitely been times where I may be clean like 20 minutes or 25 you know so I definitely like or I definitely can relate to the flexibility of just yeah. kind of going with it going with the flow yeah yeah and especially once you get past that like initial push you, do something. <laughs> yeah. you can do anything in 15 minutes that's, that's like girl that's, I, that's like my mantra too like I'd be like girl it's just 15 minutes 15 you can minutes. do it <laughs> You can clean out the refrigerator. At least take the, the expired stuff out. Oh, no. It's just hiding in the back. Just take it out. 15 minutes. You're good. Girl, you I don't think I knew that. Like, I had to, like, do it and experience it for myself because I don't know why, how long I thought it was supposed to take because I don't think I've ever cleaned it in 15 minutes before. And I think the issue mm -hmm. in my past is I just didn't have that focus. Like, I, maybe yeah. I was doing, like, 100 things. Mm -hmm. But, no, you can't. 15 minutes to clean out that fridge, mm -hmm. wipe it down, pull out the shelves. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's crazy yeah so, how our minds can convince us it, well it, it it's it's funny um now when it comes to the just 
you know, if you're feeling motivated, but know when to stop. I actually didn't follow that same, that, that rule. It's my rule too, but I didn't follow it the other day when I was cleaning the bathroom. I started to get, I don't know if it was the fumes or whatever. I started to get lightheaded. I'm like, oh goodness, I'm just going to sit. I, I got to sit down, 15 minutes, sit down. And then sure enough, all right, nope, got to keep going. Got to keep yeah. going. Which, yeah, but I was almost done. I yeah, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. So I just pushed through it and then I sat down with my sugar-free sweet tea and I was fine. Yes. <laughs> mm, and now that bathroom is clean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so cool. Okay. I do have a question for you. Um, yeah. Like, I feel like motivation is something that I like struggle with sometimes. And I just want to know, like, how do you, like, do you feel like, like you struggle with motivation and if you do like how do you feel like you overcome it or not overcome it but how do you feel like you motivate yourself you know yeah. to get moving well all right so I have a few different methods um when I'm just scrolling on my phone just scrolling watching YouTube because that's what I do in the morning watching YouTube and I'm like oh my goodness it's already 10 30 what have I done in my life um I'm like okay I'm just gonna put on my shoes Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put on my tennis shoes because it's uncomfortable for me to sit on the couch with my shoes. Oh yeah. So then I automatically want to get up. All right. Well, now that I'm up, I might as well go do something. It's only going to take 15 minutes. I have a timer. And, um, so I do have the fly lady timer. It's just a timer. You don't need it, but it does okay. do anything in 15 minutes. So it's cute. It, it helps a little bit. But, um, this timer. <laughs> So um, I'll do that. Or when we decluttered my, my husband's side of the closet, um, which that will not be on my channel. My husband wants privacy. Um, but when we did that, I, I said, okay, we're going to play a game. You need to get rid of 27 things. Yes. Like 27 fling boogie. For yes. I don't know. So I'm like, all right, you need to get rid of 27 things. And we did that with my daughter. Um, just to get her motivated as well, I've had to go and say, okay, listen, we're going to clean up the floor. We have only five minutes. That's mm. it. Yes. Five minutes. We have to get this done. And I'll put on some, um, I'll put on a song. It's actually called Room Patrol and it's by Fly Lady. Um, but and I think that one's two minutes and 30 seconds, but I'll put something really fast and then go or I'll dance or... Mm -hmm. Um, I got music, but what's really motiv motivated me is my channel because I'm like, okay, I know I, I need to get a video out and yes. it's all pretty. and I know everyone's trying to watch it like noon because that's when the kids go, I need to get up. I need to do something for these people. So really yeah. it has been, it has been my channel that that's really been the biggest motivator. Oh, that's so nice. I feel like, okay. I feel like I could fool you on that channel thing because yeah. like. I feel like recently there's been a lot of interest on my channel about my fly lady journey. Mm -hmm. And sometimes <clears throat> I'll be skipping weeks with my zone cleaning. Like I will take me a little zone cleaning break. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I try to tell myself that zone cleaning moves me forward. Right. So if I skip a week, at least I'm not going backwards. I'm not giving up on my routines. Anyway, I digress. Yes. There we go. Progress, not perfection. <laughs> So anyway, I feel like I like took a break from zone cleaning for like two weeks, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'm like, I'm not going to have any like content to post. I'm not gonna have any videos to post. So like, it's kind of giving me some motivation to not only like do my cleaning, but to like experiment because yeah. like I had to really sit down and think about it. Like, okay, girl, two weeks have gone by. You haven't done this. Like what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so it gives me like motivation to like maybe experiment with it to see how to make it easier to see how to make it flow. And so yeah. that is that, that, that video having a YouTube channel thing, that's real motivation. <laughs> it really is. And you know, my mom, when I told her I wanted to do it, she's like, do you really want to put your business out there into the world? I'm like, well, yeah, because I know that, by the end of the video, whatever it is I'm cleaning, yes, it's gonna be, clean. It's gonna be better. Hey, I mean, we, we all have that mess, yeah, you no, know? so yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. so <laughs> other things I like to do for motivation would be just like, like you said, the music timer, reminding myself it's yes. only 15 minutes yes. podcast, 
podcasts are huge. Like I, yeah, I really like listening to like podcasts because then I just get to be distracted and think about mm-hmm. something else while I like get the cleaning done. <laughs> so you got me on that podcast. Yes, girl. Um, you got me on. <laughs> did you listen to the one I told you about? She's I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah, she's good. I did. <laughs> Good. Yeah, right <laughs> well, what would you say is your number one tip for people that, that want to join the fly lady, or maybe they're struggling with their fly lady journey? So I think the number one tip for me is like, I would say just kind of like mindset, because I think what I've observed that maybe I didn't personally experience is I feel like sometimes people can be like really hard on themselves. Yes. Like if they miss a routine, like, mm-hmm. oh no, I suck, like it's over. Or if they have a bad week or if they get sick, like if you, like for me, I'm just like, I just try to give myself a lot of grace because I don't know if if I'm like traumatized by what I went through <laughs> before I started on Fly Lady, but mm-hmm. I'm like, anything that I do now is so much better than what I used to do before. So if I have a bad week, so what? Like if I mop this floor and there's still crumbs on the floor, so what? Like if I don't get to do, you know, and I feel like I say, like I have this little inner critic in my head who tries to like tell me like, girl, you need to do better. But I like speak back to her. I'm like, so what? And so that's the biggest thing that I would say is to have grace for yourself and also don't feel like you have to do the whole program at one time like do it little by little and it sounds like I'm thinking you might agree with me to start with the book maybe the book might be more straightforward than the website I'm gonna get that book (laughs) okay (laughs) all right here we go I want to make sure that they see this book now this is my (gasps) book my book is not pretty and pink like that my book is white my book is like 15 years old oh okay yeah, that, that's why. No, yours is probably white. Yeah, it's white. This one is published in 2002. Ah. Um, but get this book. I don't know if it's coming across as being backwards or not. Mm, it looks fine from what I see. Okay, cool. So, um, Sync Reflections, I think we're both going to have it linked down inside the description. Yes. Uh, because this is a lifesaver. Mm-hmm. Our number one tip for people that are struggling um, with mm-hmm. their fly lady journey or you know, like you, I, I feel that the reason why it doesn't work for people is because they want to do everything now. Yeah. And the first few steps in that, in the baby step process, because she will take you through baby steps. Mm-hmm. The first like five are slow. Yeah. Very, very, very slow. Um, you're going to shine your sink, but then she's going to go and talk about motivation and stuff like that for yeah. like four baby steps stick with it. It's changing your mindset. Yes. And one thing that she talks about, which I think everyone forgets is you do have to tailor it for what fits you and your family. Mm -hmm. Um, when I first started fly lady again, this time around, I worked outside the home. So I don't have time to do the whole stay at mom, the stay at home mom thing where they have plenty of time Mm -hmm. to do, you know, obviously they got kids and stuff, you know, hanging on their ankles and stuff, but still they have all this time during the day to try to figure out how to go and put it all in. I yes. don't. Yeah. So really figuring out how to go and make it work for you and your family. That's how you're going to do it. My number yeah. two, because I only have two is if you can do nothing else during the day, do your morning routine and your evening routine and you'll <laughs> learn those in your baby steps. And then anything else is a plus one. Okay. That's the truth right there. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I'm trying to like glance down at these questions without being obvious. We have to edit this part out. Okay. <laughs> I have a question. So is there any place in your house that you are either dreading to clean or that's still cluttered and you just like, I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Well, I know the last time we talked, I told you it was my dining room table. It is not my dining room table anymore. Okay. Um, I actually decluttered that sucker and I put down some kind of like makeshift little table runner on there, which is like from an apron or whatever. And I put a couple fancy things on there. I know I feel special. And, and I had a glass of wine when I was done. Um, but yeah, actually the place that is decluttered is the room I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. Um, it right now it's a catch all Mm -hmm. and at first glance, I'm looking at it. It's over here. I'm like, I, I don't see how that's going to only be 15 minutes. 
but then you watch, it'll be 15 minutes, at, you know, at best. Yeah. So it's probably this room. What about you? I feel like I have like cluttered spaces in my house, but it's like cluttered on purpose. Cause I think before fly lady, like I had a lot of clutter and I felt like I wanted to change it, but I didn't feel like I had time to do it yeah. or to do it right. And so like the stuff that I choose to leave is because like, I'm fine with it. I'm comfortable. So I have like closets that, you know, like guest closets that I, I can use a little spruce up. My office right now is like a true reflection of my, my, uh, the fact that I don't have like a housekeeping bone in my body. Okay. Like, I feel like I take care of the rest of the house because my family's in it. I want them to be like, in a, my office is a hot mess. This is your, your room. That's, that's what I'm in right now is my own personal room. Yes. Yeah. In my clutter. <laughs> <laughs> so I will live in my clutter. At least mm-hmm. it's not affecting other people. It's just me. So. Yeah. <laughs> but at yeah. least I feel like if I want to change it, like I can, and I have the tools and I have, you know, I can make it work. So that's one thing I really do like about like having a system in place. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this room just yet. Mm-hmm. I have a little desk that I got when I was doing my drawing, Okay. but it's an empty, empty room. Oh, so, is it going to yeah, be your yeah. office or are you going to change, use it for yeah, a different purpose? Probably. I mean, it's probably an, um, an office. I'll, I have recorded a couple videos here, but I'm probably going to get like one of those high back chairs. Mm-hmm my own tea time yes um, Girl! tea time i know <laughs> all right thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and having some of this mom chat fly lady chat let's sip this tea <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this interview and more than anything i hope that this has given you guys like just different perspectives and ideas on different ways that you can approach the program. Um, I think, you know, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes it can be so easy to get stuck on this. We have to do it one way. There's only one way to do it. But this program is highly customizable and you can really make it work for your life. And so I hope that we were able to just give you guys some ideas and to just inspire you to just get out there and try it. And you know, it might suck at first, but like tweak stuff and make it work for your life and just keep working with it because like, it's just crazy how just doing those little things every day, how it adds up and how you'll get stronger and how this program can really change your homekeeping and just make things feel just a little bit easier. And so that's that. Make sure that you guys head over to Danielle's channel and subscribe and support your girl. She is really doing awesome things on her channel. She posts so consistently. So if you need that motivation in your life, swing over there to get it. And so, and she posts like daily. So if you need daily motivation, boom. So (laughs) thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.